Max, yesterday, yes. as we are wont to do, we got in the car, the new the new Texas Texas football swag wagon, um, the TX swag wagon. I think is that is the, the hashtag, official name of the it. The Texas yeah. swag wagon. Hashtag TX swag wagon. We got in the car. We headed northeast. That's northwest. True. Northwest. Northwest, yes. We went to Wichita Falls. Yeah. Now, I have been to Look Wichita. This beautiful B-roll. Now, I have right never now. been to Wichita, f- or I've been to Wichita Falls, but right. I've never been to a game at Memorial game, Stadium. Correct. You had yeah. never been to Wichita Falls at all. Not at all, no. no. I thought it was lovely. It was very lovely. We um, we got a, um, uh, we, we, first of all, we, we got to Wichita Falls, and we, we ate thanks to um, our friends up, up there in Wichita Falls, Adam Ostro and uh, Zach Duncan and all, yeah. all the all the media Lots of great mafia recommendations. up there gave us a lot of recommendations. We ended up at Back Porch. Is that no, right? Bricktown. Bricktown. We went to Bricktown. Bricktown, Draft House, Tap House, something tap like house, that. Tap House, I think. Bricktown, Tap House. Yes, thanks. It was but we were driving a company yeah, car, so yeah, we, could yeah, not, uh, we could not we could not drink. It was, yes, we could not. Um, uh, oh, they, they they kept pushing like local beer, and I was like, I definitely want like a Wichita Falls I would love beer. to try all these local beers. But Unfortunately, we driving no. a company car. Company car. Wah, wah. Anyway, so uh, we go there. We had a lovely we had a lovely dinner. Um, I had a yeah. killer chicken sandwich on oh. a pretzel bun, and you had you had some hatch chili yeah. chicken sandwich. Yeah. It was good. pretty good. So then we went to Memorial Stadium and we watched Hershey versus Graham. For what was a low key great game, and apparently the Wichita Falls guys have been hyping it up, and uh, yeah. it lived up to the billing. It, it did. It lived up to the billing, um, and 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 you know I know that there was a lot of question because. I think we thought there, this game was going to go one of two ways. Right. Either this is going to be a great game. Yep. It's going to come down to the last quarter. Right. Or Graham is going to blow their doors off, and right. Hershey was going to kind of get exposed as kind of a soft two and out. I will tell you, it was the former, not the latter. Uh, right. This game was excellent. Uh, 42-35, Graham ended up winning the game uh, in front of a very nice crowd for very a four a non district game Thursday on a night Thursday. Game, yeah. Excellent crowd out there. Um, we got to catch up with our buddies at the Wichita Falls record, uh, Times Record News. Times Record, there we go. Yep. Uh, a few others of the uh, the media mafia out there. Good to good to catch up with those guys. Uh, wandered around, um, and so it was a great game. It was a great game. I've got a lot of thoughts. First and foremost, if you haven't seen Graham, this offense is a little bit different in yeah. the sense that they've got a great quarterback in Tucker Horn. Yeah. Uh, you had a really good comparison for him. Plays like Roethlisberger, man. He does. He, he has a great feel for the pocket. It, you know, the ball doesn't always come out clean, but it's always on target. It is, you know, he's just he's very much a gamer. He the, knows what he's doing. The word that I use is inelegant. Yeah. Inelegant but yeah. effective because yeah. because you watch him and he dances around the pocket and yeah. he's like kind of he's he, he doesn't he always looks like uncomfortable in the right. pocket and yet he puts on the money yeah. over and over Big, and over. Got a good presence. I think good I saw leader. I think yeah. I saw something. Um, I need to go and check that. But his numbers were really good in this game. Yeah. Um, which you wouldn't think so. Right. The offensive line for Graham impressed the heck out of me. Anytime they needed the big play, and I'm yeah. up there in the press box feeling like a jerk. It's like fourth and one. I'm like they're gonna run off left tackle, and they did. Um, they they ran uh, behind a big offensive line that uh, that really plowed the road for them. I was I was impressed with yep. Graham's offensive line play against a against a team that uh, I think has pretty good size. Yep. Um, it was Hunter Dooley as their big left tackle yeah. who was plowing the road for them. Whenever Boy, if they, they needed a big play, when they needed the tough they yards, when they, yeah. when they needed the tough yards, they were running they were running kind of this counter. Uh, mm-hmm. with right behind him, and they were saying, go get it for us, big boy, and he was coming through. Hershey impressed yeah. me, though. Hershey's really? got some playmakers. Yeah, seems like a um, team on the rise. That really is. I think that, fair or not, um, we think about Hershey at which, as, like, the the other team, right, yeah. in, in Wichita Falls. Right. It's Ryder, and it's Old right. High, and then, oh, right. yeah, there's Wichita Falls. Hershey. They were a playoff team last year, uh, but this year I was, real, uh, you know, going and watching them, I want to make sure I get the get the names right. Was it uh, was it Banks? Is that the is that the wide receiver who was lighting it up? Thirteen. Yeah, I think it was so Banks. good. I think it was yeah. Javen Banks. Yeah, and that kid. He laid some wood on defense too. He did. This yeah. kid is a is a is he plays both ways as one does in four A, and he was really impressive. Good long strider. Um, he can. Yeah. He's a basketball player. He can go up and get it. Uh, and and you know this this team impressed me. I think mm-hmm. Hershey's the team on the rise. Yeah. Uh, they they f- it just seemed like they fell behind a little bit early. Yeah. They they um, they you know they dug themselves a little bit too big of a hole, and then Graham was happy to keep them at arm's length. Yep. I never really felt like Hershey was going to win that game uh, once they went down like twenty one six in the first yeah. half or the first yeah. quarter. 
Um, and Graham off to a great start this season. Graham's three and zero. Hershey's two and one. Off to a great start, you know. And I think both these teams are, are trending in the right way. Um, I'm glad we got to go out and see it. I'm glad we got to get eyes on both these teams. I got a better feel uh, for both these squads. But overall, an excellent night in Wichita Falls that we capped off with an outstanding interview. We got to catch up with the head coach of the Graham Steers. We caught up with Kenny Davidson. Here's our interview with Kenny Davidson for after last night's game here on Texas Football Today. Greg Tupper here with Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here at Wichita Falls Memorial Stadium where the Graham Steers move to 3-0 and with a thrilling 42-35 win over Wichita Falls Hershey joined by the head coach of the Steers, Kenny Davidson. You guys, you took a punch. That was uh, that was yeah. quite something. That's two week weekends in a row where one play here and one play there. You know, Brownwood game could have gone either way. So I'm uh, just fortunate to be, you know, we made more plays than they did. And, and Hershey, I mean, they're, they're just a great team this year. They have a big senior class. We have a big senior class, a lot of returning uh, starters, and and I think they're going to do well this year. I really, I really do. They they battle us hard, and uh, we had two really you know four quarter games coming into it, and they, they didn't really uh, have this tough of an opponent, and may, maybe that helped us or not. But like I said, it was a battle. Yeah, it, it certainly was. Was there any sort of concern about you guys get this real emphatic, thrilling win over Brownwood, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. the next week you play a team that uh, you yeah. know wants to beat yeah. you, and you're going to get everything you want? Was there any concern for a letdown? No, I really wasn't worried about the, the letdown. I was more worried about the talent that Hershey has. I mean, uh, they've got a, a, the MVP of the basketball uh, district last year at, at a wide receiver, and, and, and they have some linebackers in the D-line. D line. I mean, they have really a great people in all of the all of the units. And so uh, it was more like we knew they were good, and, and you know, we didn't try to overhype it, but, but really uh, I think it was just basically, basically before the game, I said, you got to do your job. Everybody's got to do their job, and this is going to be a tough game. Uh, you guys get a great performance from your quarterback, Tucker Horn. He, he really, this kid seems like he's, he's something special. You know, it, sometimes it, it may not be the most elegant plays, but it seems like he knows how to make the, the big plays. Well, I mean, he started uh, 12 games last year, and, and so he got a lot of experience. He's worked real hard in the summer. Uh, he's a real intelligent kid, and I'm going to tell you, with the spread offense, it helps to have uh, a guy that can read coverages and, and know when to throw it and who to throw it to. So I think he just had a, a remarkable game for us, and we caught the ball well, and we protected him well. So we're excited about the, the future of the, of the season. I was going to ask you about the offensive yeah. line. Cause yeah. I, I, the, I, yeah. You know, we're up there watching that offensive yeah. line. It yeah. seemed like when you guys needed fourth down conversion, yeah. third down yeah. conversion, you said, go get it for us and they right. get it. Right. We kind of mixed it up. I mean, we, we, were the, we were the four wides and, you know, empty, and then uh, we went to, to a smash mouth type uh, under the center, and, you know, that's worked well for us. I mean, they've got to prepare for both the, the, the spread and, and, and the smash mouth, and, you know, that's tough, and, and it all starts with the offensive line and, you know, making the holes for Chase Gilmore, our running back, and, and I, I just can't say enough about, about our kids and how they battle tonight. You're 3-0. Yeah. What have you learned about your team over these four, first three weeks? Well, I mean, we talk about football starts in January when we get back. I mean, and, and it's, it's it's a culture. It's a it's a it's a year-round deal. And, and I mean, they've just I've just seen them. They 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 bought in. We've got a lot of a lot of kids that uh, that, that are top-end kids, and, and they're good leaders. And and you know, seven on seven. I mean, you know, we talk about that, but you know, they they had to, they had to battle, and, and so it's just carried over. And our linemen are, are, are really uh, playing good. So I mean, we're going to take this this three wins, and 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 you know, we, we're going to enjoy it. But you know, we've got uh, good big goals for the year, and, and we want to stay healthy. And, and keep going coach congratulations thank you so much thanks for being here all right but that was awesome yeah appreciate coach davidson catching yeah. up with us after the game um you could tell you know talking with him um you could tell kind of off camera he was talking about he's like yeah like those wichita falls guys were hyping this game up and i like i was he was like and you know i i didn't you know i knew the hershey's was a good squad right he's like and and i'm just glad the game lived up to the hype he was he was very thankful that he like thanked us for coming out to the game i'm like right. Thanks for putting on the show. Like, right, you yeah. Know? You guys did the hard part. Yeah. We just sat in a car. Yeah, we yeah. sat in a car for a while. You yeah. guys went out there and, and entertained us. But it was a great game. Uh, two yeah. programs trending up, but a great win for Graham. We appreciate Coach Kenny Davidson catching up with us after the game. Appreciate all our buddies out there at the Times Record News. Uh, Zach Duncan, Andy Newberry, Jonathan Hull, Adam Ostro from uh, from the, the Channel uh, 6 down there. And Adam from Adam Hernandez. Hernandez? I met him last night from the yeah. Grand Paper. From the Grand Paper. Yeah, good to meet him as well. Good to meet Adam. Mm -hmm. They ever need anything, they, they know yeah. where to holler. Yeah, exactly. So appreciate all those guys.